do you want me to read it or bye? I will start with the Ghibli themed shoes. They are made from canvas so it's pretty easy to draw on them. To draw on the shoe you need to use stuff that are waterproof. So I'm using everything that I'm using for my manga drawing. Um, if you're coloring the face with white, uh, make sure to do a couple of layers just to make sure the color is settled. And when you paint the body, make sure that the marker is dying out so you will get the transparent effect if everything you use was waterproof then do a couple of layers of mud fudge for trying to settle I didn't do it with mine so this is the final result for the second shoe I'm coloring everything white so I can sketch on it with my pen after I'm happy with my sketch, I'm coloring everything with a silver marker and then color everything that needs to be white make sure to do a couple of layers for it to settle and then just paint on and outline everything with black I just did it instinctively and I ended up with something like this Next we have the eyeball necklace for it, you will need a couple of frames, then we will just take an imprint of it so we will know what shape we need to cut out, and when we do, all we need is to color it the way we want. I'm coloring everything with waterproof stuff such as color pencils, that way when you might budget the color will not smudge. When you glue it into the frame, make sure you do a couple of extremely thin layers. Don't do this, don't do that, nope, nope. It will take forever to dry and the effect won't be as good as it should. Just do a couple of thin layers and let it dry. And what it does, do a couple of more thin layers and then you should end up with pretty good looking ones. This is not the final result, by the way. Then pick the ones you like the most and then just decorate it the way you want this is the way i done it it's simple and easy and yet it looks so pretty next we have the dragon ball coasters two things close to the variety i raise your hand this is the original idea but i didn't have a printer so i decided to do the dragon ball so it's simple you will need a gray board a cut in the marker to mark the size that you will cut out, make sure that the edges are as smooth as possible, then much patch the entire crew, make a thin layer but do it a couple of times so it's firm, then color everything the way you want, cut out little stars, paint them red and glue them on and then much patch everything again a couple of times. And if you're skillful enough with the glue gun, you can glue the edge. I actually glued the anti-slip surface on the back, but that did not record, so this is the final product. Next we have the manga books, which is perfect for everyone who likes drawing. For this, you will need a manga, take the copies of the pages you will want to use, a box, I got one for a dollar, and I'm painting it flat. And while waiting for it to dry, I cut it out these pieces that I'm going to use. And when the books are dry, just go on all the pictures where you want them to be. Since the box is black, I could easily draw and write with the white pencil. When everything is where you want it to be, my patch it with a thin layer. And when it's dry, do a couple of more layers. Make sure there's at least two of them. To complete this set, you will need just some of this equipment, which will be linked in the description below. Just put everything in the box, and your perfect present is all set. I'll leave a link in the description for a keychain plushie, because I'm not really happy with how mine turned out. This is the measures if everyone needs them. 
I just freehanded it, I sewed it right down because it didn't have any bobby pins and then make small cuts in the marked places to release the pressure from the fabric. It's not easy to turn them but it takes a little bit of patience and a bit of effort, you can help yourself with a pencil. When you're done, just fill them in with the stuffing and close their head shut. You can sew them close, but I was too lazy to, so I just colored mine. For hair, I took reference photos for L because they kind of look alike. You should probably sew this by hand, but I just glue them and then put in a keychain and that was it. This one was my absolute favorite. As you can see, it's a Psycho Moth shirt. You can print out the design, but since I don't have a freaking printer, I had to do it by hand. And then I glued the paper to a thicker one and cut it out with a sculpture. Of course, you will need a shirt. Make sure to put something in it for it to stretch. You should probably put some paper around the design so the paint doesn't go on a shirt. And mistakes can be fixed with a black fabric paint. If you're really skillful, you can make your friend a prop or perhaps buy a wig and style it if you know that he or she needs it. Anime shirts! Who the hell doesn't like anime shirts? Like, seriously! There's also backpacks, but they're quite a bit more expensive. Anime plushies are cute, adorable and you can find them cheaply on eBay. You can draw something with a sharpie or just buy them as they are. If your friend is trying to learn Japanese, then maybe the manga that is written in Japanese. Perhaps they need a Crunchyroll account? I've saved my favorite for the last. My birthday was a few days ago, so my friend made me a kind of drawing of Mystic Messenger with two of us in it. It's really one of the best presents you can give to a friend because it's personal and it takes a lot of effort and time and it's just beautiful. Let's do this! I almost fell.